So yesterday, my entire department got laid off. Me, nine other people, including the CTO, after we had spent nights and nights and nights of overtime, working late, building out this product that our client will never use. One of my coworkers was at a funeral when he got the news that he no longer had a job. It's pretty rough. But that's the ins and outs of software life. People want software, people don't want software, companies run out of money. But now I have a new job and that is to make content and find a new job in the meantime. What are you doing? Bro, it just rained. Now you got... Dude, I'm gonna have to clean your feet. You're gonna leave mud all in that house. What's up, guys? Welcome to my backyard. It's kind of something different. Um, you know, just got fresh out the gym and just had a little fresh rain here. I don't know if you can hear all the birds or if you can even hear me talking. I hope so. I hope I don't film this and all you hear is birds chirping. But who doesn't love being outside right after it rains and then it's sunny over here and it's still cloudy over there? I don't know. I, I just... These moments when you're outside in the rain or just after a fresh rain, it's good, it's good. This, this video is more about like personal development and just kind of me keeping things into, in, in perspective. Like sometimes I get, I get really impatient with things and I was talking to my friend Taylor about this because I just feel overwhelmed sometimes because there's so many things I feel like I need to do all at one time. Like I want to learn game development and then make videos on game development. I want to learn Python and make videos on Python. I want to do this and that and this and that. And I want to do it all at the same time so that it can all be out there and I can just have content and then I can grow this YouTube channel and do videos full time somehow or just kind of teach people. I like, I like teaching people, I like helping people. That's why I make these videos and I like editing, I like film, and I guess that would be like the ultimate end goal just to be, make videos for a living. But like I get impatient and I start to feel flustered, I start to feel overwhelmed, and I get, this video is just about keeping everything in perspective. So if I go back a year ago, uh, I, I didn't even have a job anymore. I just gotten laid off. All 12 of us just gotten, just got our asses fired. I was paying two different rents for two different apartment complexes with no job. I was paying my rent, I was paying my parents' rent. I was, and it was not, it was not good. And uh, every job that I applied to was telling me no and I was trying to make YouTube and figuring out how to make thumbnails. I never used Photoshop before, I never used After Effects or Premiere before. I didn't know what I was doing, I just knew that I had to do something and I guess I just get, there's a, there's a squirrel. <laughs> I guess I just get impatient sometimes and the whole point of this video is just about keeping things in perspective so if I, if I jump if I jump forward to a year, like right now, I, I just, I bought a house, I got a new car so that I can do Uber, so that if I ever get laid off randomly, I can always Uber my way to not living in a box on the street, uh, even though I really have left my Jeep. That was, you know, but it is what it is. And now I have a job and now I'm teaching people and now I'm making these videos and I am growing the YouTube channel. You know, it's never as fast as you want it to happen, but I, I guess that's why I always, I work out a lot and it, it's literally impossible to go from being your body to where you want to go overnight. And it's, it's actually impossible unless you have like plastic surgery. And that's why I go to the gym and it helps me pound into that. Like if it's uncomfortable, then you have to do it. If I, it's, these weights don't care if you pick them up, it, it sucks. It sucks when you do reps. They don't, they don't give a shit if you pick them up and put them back down, but you gotta do it anyways. And if you can be uncomfortable for two hours at a time in the gym willful, willfully, then you can do anything else in, uh, like you can do anything that's uncomfortable. And so what I've been really kind of struggling with is I have these really great ideas, but I don't, I don't execute on them. And I read this book called um, Mastery by Robert Greene and it's like, you, you, you have like audible thoughts, like actual thoughts in your head, like, oh, I'll just do it later. Like literally like word for word in English, like, oh, I'll just do it later. They're just, they're just thoughts that just pop up in your head, right? But that you have a feeling, at least I do, and at least he conveyed in the book that most people do and that he did, but I just have like a feeling that I should do something. And when I don't do it and I just keep not doing it, over time I start to get depressed and I start to get anxious and then things start piling up and I just, I just like, I just feel overwhelmed and I just feel like I want everything to happen right now and you know that wouldn't even be fair right I have to put in the work I have to earn this I have to earn I have to earn growing the YouTube channel growing the discord 
growing the knowledge to give you guys. I have to earn all this. And you know, even if I had it overnight, even if I think I want everything I want overnight, if I, if I had it the next day, that wouldn't mean anything, right? It, if you give a man a million dollars, it doesn't mean he's a millionaire. Most of the times, the things that you have to do over and over and over again aren't exciting. And it's just consistent daily action over one big action. Like today, I really wasn't feeling like doing anything. I just came home from work. I, I have a, I always carry around a, I always carry around a booklet with me. And, I, and every morning I wake up and I write down everything I'm gonna do. And then I just got home and I just didn't do anything at all. And it was just so, uh, but I, but it, like I know what I have to do. And I'm just like, oh, tomorrow, tomorrow, next day. So I went in and then I did it and now I feel better. And I just had this idea that I'd make a video in my backyard conveying these thoughts. If, if anyone watches it, cool. If no one watches it, whatever. It's more, I just, I just know that I, I feel like I should make this video. So if it's, if, if you like it, leave a like. <laughs> if you think, you know, it's dumb, I guess skip to the next one. So a year ago, I was unemployed, no house, funds in the bank account were draining really fast. And now here I am with a, a house and a yard and two jobs, three jobs, I guess. If you can, I consider YouTube a job. I, I don't, I treat it like that. Like, even though I know it's optional, I have to carry on the same urgency as if it was like, oh shit, I'm late to work. Oh shit, I gotta make this video. Like, like I have to have, you have to have that sense of urgency about even the optional things. Like, so the, 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 the same thing goes for code. Like, you, consistent daily action. You can't learn it all at once. You have to, like, doesn't matter if you're not getting it one day, you just have to look back and see that everything else that you've achieved so far. Keep, keep that shit in perspective and just realize where you've come. And so I guess if you really boil it down, it just boils down to gratitude and just being thankful for what you have. And so I appreciate everyone watching these videos. I appreciate everyone in the Discord just commenting. I appreciate all the feedback and everything that you guys contribute to this. I mean, it's, uh, it's really great. And you know, I, I guess actually a month ago I was at like, 1300 subs and now I'm only I don't even know maybe close to 2100 <laughs> maybe I mean so when I think about it you know I feel I feel better it's just it's a ranting video so some stuff I've been going through um, I got a grill I'm really excited about my grill maybe I'll do a grill stream tonight uh, I don't know I think I think it'd be fun so hopefully I didn't film all this and all you hear is birds chirping and wind and you know whatever but it's really nice out and i hope you guys are having a good night if you guys like this video you know what to do you know maybe maybe leave a subscribe maybe leave a comment you know we all we all go through our struggles and you know this isn't really i guess this is really first world problem and a lot of you guys are you know just trying to get by so hope you guys are doing all right and i'll see you guys in the next video